I'm nervous about being on a 14 hour plane ride because going from New York to Kenya to get to Tanzania, it's a 14 hour flight and I haven't been in a plane for that long. I'm nervous about just being in the air for so long and not knowing what's coming because we're flying for 14 hours and it's going to be a long time in a small space and I'm just nervous about that. Yeah, it's just a new experience. That always makes you nervous, <laughs> but yeah, mosquitoes tend to like me. I've been there before, and but it feels so long ago because it has been a long time. But I think it's also being the first international trip that I'm in charge, that I'm not in charge, but that I'm bringing my son with me and having that responsibility as well as this project and, and bringing it all together makes me a bit nervous, but also excited at the same time that I'm able to to support and provide that for him as well. So it's a, it's, it goes both ways. I am nervous about food. Not that there's not going to be food to eat, but I do have here in my life in the U.S., I have a rather restricted diet. There are some foods that I know cause me an inflammatory response. There are foods that will cause me an abdominal situation. <laughs> and um, there are foods that I know will give me headaches and make me feel less energetic than I really want to be while I'm there. So I'm honest to say there are some concerns I have about the types of food I'm going to find there that will be new to my diet. And there's going to be some experimentation that happens where I'm going to try a little bit of this, and a little bit of that and wait to see, is this something I can eat again without repercussions? Because I want to be my absolute best. I'm there and uh, I don't want to be dealing with with pain or inflammation or lack of energy or anything like that. So that makes me a little nervous, but I'm confident that we'll find some things there and I'll just be careful and maybe I'll lose a little weight because I won't be eating much anyway. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a good thing. I think I definitely want everyone to feel like comfortable around us and also communication. I think I, I understand a lot of them, a lot of people, they, they understand English, I think. But um, still, there's going to be a lot of language barriers. There's going to be a lot of cultural differences. And I think that's something that we need to really work to learn before we go there so we can be as respectful as possible and as open as possible. Yeah, no, 100%. I, the last thing I want is to come in and just be shoving cameras in these people's faces, just expecting a reaction out of them. I want to develop relationships rather than just be someone who's behind the camera and pressing record. So yeah, I think communication is, is a big one. So I guess something I'm nervous about is yeah, potent, that potential language barrier or for our intentions to come off as something as other than what we're truly going there for. I don't want to get malaria. I'm not... I don't tend to worry about those things. I would, moreover, when you travel, I don't, I believe worry is a useless emotion. So I would hate for anyone to not feel well while we are there or get sick, even just a minor thing. So I just hope we can avoid that and take all the precautions that we can and not eat things that could potentially be, have parasite like raw vegetables. And, and it's gonna be hard for me because I love to eat raw vegetables, but probably can't eat those while I'm there. So I'm gonna have to find other ways of satisfying my nutrition. And there is always a, I was in Bali in March and at one point my stomach wasn't, didn't feel great. I went to Costa Rica shortly after that and I came home and I wasn't, my stomach was a little off balance. Cause usually when you're in another country, you're just everything, your whole balance, your alkaline balance, everything could be get shifted off. So I just hope we can stay as healthy as possible. Donate to empower the voices of Tanzanian children. Donate to globally connect all our voices. To Donate to help the voices of Tanzanian youth dream bigger and beyond their circumstances. Donate to help the teenagers of Tanzania help their communities become stronger today. Donate to let all the children's voices be heard. Donate to help youth like me. Go right now to speakfeedlead.org to our Tanzania 2024 campaign.